This is the Bristol City View. Good evening, Sam. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, we're going to talk on this one about, obviously, that Norwich results and that second of four year, which I'm sure you'll you'll want to forget about quickly. We're also going to talk about how Liam Manning is doing uh, now that we are three or four games in. Um, let's start with the Norwich game. Um, first half pleasing, second half not so much. Definitely, definitely. First half, we controlled the game. Um, I mean, Norwich, they hit the post in the first half, but that was about all they offered. Um, went in, went up at half time, looked, looked in control of the game. And I don't know what Manning said to the team at half time, but we looked a totally different side second half. Yeah, who do you put at fault for their second goal? A lot of people blaming Viner. He did look a bit weak, to be fair. But he, overall, he's had a good season with us. Um, but Norwich, they just set up for that. You know, they put 10 men behind the ball. Uh, they brought on a couple of pacey strikers. And you could you could see it was written in the stars for them, to be fair. You could mm -hmm. see they were just going to try and hit us on the break. And their plan worked. Yeah. It was Manning's first defeat. And obviously, there's some good results in there as, as, as well. Um what have you made so far then of, first of all, a team selection, substitutions, and just overall uh, conf press conferences that he gives? Let's start with team selections. Um, are you have, have you been happy with the teams you've been putting out? Yeah, it's been pretty much the same lineup as what Pearson was playing, to be fair. Um, you know, he's, he's until January, he hasn't got a lot of changes he can make to a squad. He did bring in Mimetti at the start. It was rumoured he was a big transfer target of his at Oxford for January until he came to us. But he's, again, he just, just looks off the mark for us at the moment. And, what, but this, what, he, sorry. No, sorry. What about his in-game management then? What about substitutions and tactical awareness of the opposition? Yeah, uh, like against Southampton. Um, obviously, that was, his, that was his first defeat, Southampton. Oh, yeah, um, of course, yeah. We, we had Con Conway and Bell were playing really, really well. And then he brought them off in a double substitution, and it just didn't seem right. Okay. And what about then um, the noises coming out? Because Pearson could, in his you know, in his interviews, could be a bit of a stroppy, so, stroppy so and so. What have you? What have you? What do you take away from when you listen to your manager talk? Yeah, to be fair, he gave a pretty good good interview after the Norwich game. He said that it was mistakes that cost up, uh, mistakes that we made that won the game for Norwich, not Norwich winning the game. Okay. Um, predictions then this weekend. Um, what do you? How do you rate Huddersfield? You know, obviously they've been struggling a lot this season, but the last few games, what well, they had a draw with Southampton, to Sunderland, and picked up a point again away to uh, Swansea at the weekend. It's going to be a difficult game. It's not as easy as what we we would hope it would be. To be fair. All right. Well, we wish you well. Thanks so much, Sam, for coming on. We'll catch you next week. Cheers. Yeah, you take care. Thanks, man.